Good morning, friends of the internet. We are back again on the farming sim 15 on the Xbox One. After many, many hours of shoveling silage, we have emptied our silage pen. We now have $1.5 million in cash to spend. Well, actually 1.7 because we got a $200,000 bank loan that we could use. So I went ahead and I left this here. Uh, for backup in case there's still that uh, that demand for silage so we get a little bit extra cash But we do have that 1.5 million to spend so that's gonna leave us about 300,000 by the time we're done here, so With that being said we need to buy that other windmill. So let's go ahead and do that We've been waiting for this moment for the longest time. Where is it? Where is the placeables? Where are they? They are here Boom, laceables. Let's get this bad boy. The minute I buy it, it's gonna go on sale. You watch. The minute I buy it, bam, on sale. No, okay. Uh, let's go up here. Let's go. Let's turn and kapow. Ha ha, we did it. We did it. We are now making 4,000 an hour. That's awesome. So we got that out of the way. Plus we still have about uh, 500,000 that we can spend. So with that being said, um, we got to think about what we want to do next here. So we got, we got that out of the way. That's out of the way. We should buy some cows. We should start thinking about buying some cows. Um, just do the fact that we are, let's look at that situation uh, right here. Oop. Let's look at the situation. So we got a little bit of silage here, which is good for feed. We've got hay bales kind of stacked up for feeding purposes. We have this for manure. And we have this already fed. So we should be able to buy some cows, right? And I think we've already even filled this up, haven't we? Yes, we did. Okay, perfect. So with that being said, um, I can't remember how many hay bales we used to fill that bin over there, but whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead and buy some cows while we're at it, okay? Let's buy, what do you say we buy like uh, 20 cows maybe? How many, how many cows should we buy? Let's go 40 a day. Let's go. Okay. Let's buy a bunch of cows. Let's buy like, let's buy like 15 or 20 of them. And there's 20. I own 20 cows. We own 20 cows. Just like that. We own 20 cows. Look at that. Bam. We got 20 cows. Look at all our cows. Sweet. What's up, moo cows? What's up? How we doing there, moo cow? Whoa, moo cow. Oh, oh. Hey, buddy. What's up? Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just walking here. I'm jumping on your back. Nothing. Flashlight. Oh, you guys gonna kiss? Oh, this is your lovely moo cows. All right, so we got ourselves some cows. So they'll start feeding. They'll start filling up, uh, filling up everything. Um, they'll start producing slurry over here. Let's, uh, let's do this really quick. Let's just kind of go like this. Let's check some things out here. So 0%. So they haven't even started making any of this yet. So they'll start making the slurry over there. They'll start making the manure over here. So now we'll just have to come back and kind of check on these guys from time to time. So manure will start coming in here. You can see there's no manure in here. So we'll come back and check on this over time here. Um, with that being said, that means them guys are off doing their thing. Okay, so what's the next thing on the list of things that we have to get done? It looks like all of our crops are pretty much done and ready to go. Um, let's see here. I think they're all ready. Yes, they are all ready to harvest. Every one of our fields are ready to harvest. So the question is, is do we buy another field? Or do we go play with another tractor? We only got 260 some thousand left. We don't got really much to spend on a new tractor. 
because we just went ahead and we bought those cows and we just bought that other stuff. And oh my God, we got all the stuff and things going here. So uh, let's see. Um, let's think about it for a second. Tractors. Let's take a quick look. I think they're too expensive for our blood right now for that, that big one. Yeah, 379000 So that's still kind of out of our price range unless we take out a loan. And I really don't want to take out a loan just yet. Um, we already got... What do we do with that tank? Did we buy... What do we do with the tanker truck? Oh, uh... What do we do with the tank that was on this? Did we just leave it? What did we do with that thing? Oh, we set it over there. Okay, so we just left it next to the bin over there. Um, so that's probably filled up with 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 slurry right there for our, for our bins. Okay, so that's done. Um, whoops. Let's look at one of these combines. I want to see if we can maybe step up our combine production here. What is this? A new combine, three hundred and eighty. So we're <laughs> we're gonna have to take out a loan no matter what. But let's see, what else could we do here? Uh, a tipper trailer. Let's see, a tipper trailer for IT runner is 55,000. So we could buy one of those, which would give us the slurry tank, right? So we could do a slurry tank too which I think we found out to be a little more expensive, 34,000. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive than just our 62,000. So we could actually buy another one of these tanks if we wanted. Uh, let's go ahead and buy one of these, an extra one of these. And then the truck I think was too much, right? 285,000. We could do it, but we're gonna have to take out a loan to do it. So let's go ahead and hold off on it since we've got the 200,000. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our truck. Where is it at? Right here. Um, let's disconnect this bad boy. Go pick up that other tank and then get it over here. So we'll have these tanks out of the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we can utilize these tanks. Um, oh, it's so good to see two windmills. So happy. So we got some canola here. Now, the thing with the canola is we're going to be able to just pound this out really quick because canola, we're not going to be picking it up for silage. We're just going to we're just going to mow it down, take the crop and go sell it. So it's going to be a good thing for us there. Um, hey, we don't have to worry about right now. We do have I do have a corn that I could do so we could buy another field kind of show you how the corn works but I mean it's really not the best crop either but I mean silage is still the way to go as boring as it may be to do silage silage is the best way for us to make some money like I said we're trying to steamroll this thing as fast as we can to get us up into the high production of, of wind uh, so that's what I've been trying to do I've just been trying to like get as much silage off camera as we can get done so that we can just come in here buy some windmills and do that like we could speed up some time and start getting 4,000 an hour, which would be what? Times 12 would be four, be, no, no, I take that back. Uh, times 12 would be eight, so it'd be 48,000. So we'd be getting about 100,000 an hour, or 100,000 a day, is that right? I think that's right, yeah. County workers, beware of your signs, ha ha. All right, so with this, we could just go like this. Let's go, boom, let's take that one off. This should be filled up completely. Did we fill this up? Maybe we didn't fill this up, huh? Now I think about it. Yeah, we didn't. It doesn't fill up while you're, because we tried to like park it and then fill it up at the same time and it doesn't work. You gotta actually be within the truck. You can't just dip off the trailer. I tried to dip off the trailer and then fill it, but it didn't work out. So let's go ahead and fill these up and then we'll have these for backup. Um, and basically what we can do is just have these ready to go. We'll come in here, grab them. We'll start using up some of the slurry and get the slurry tank emptied up so that we can fertilize a bit with it. Just so we can utilize this stuff up just because it's just kind of a pain in the butt. You know what I mean? 
Boy, this thing fills up so slow, though. Come on, and field. Okay, let's pull this bad boy right over here. Right over here. I still wish because I see the setup here of this with these tanks and being able to hold liquids. And I'm still kind of perplexed why the game hasn't allowed you to harvest milk. I still think that would be a great thing to harvest milk. But it still it still doesn't do that. And that's really too bad. I think that'd be a kind of a better immersion into the game to be able to have some milk set up so that you could like harvest the milk and then go over and dump the milk off at um, the milk plant and sell milk. I think that would be such a great little addition to this game. I was always kind of confused why they never added it. I don't know if it's a coding issue or what it is, but uh, I, I just thought it would be kind of neat to be able to like say, oh, okay, let's just have a tank that holds milk too. Hopefully in the next version of this game, they'll allow us to do milk because I think that'd be so awesome. The chickens is kind of a bummer because like you gotta like physically go hand pick chicken eggs. Like I don't got time. We're a big commercial farm here. I don't got time to be going and picking out chicken eggs by hand. Uh, so I, I've skipped on the chickens for that reason. And I skip on the, the sheep for almost the same reason because they make pallets of, of wool that just kind of sit there and get in the way and then they won't produce anymore. So you got to constantly be over there taking care of it and managing it. It's kind of a pain in the butt where with the cattle, they're pretty much managed themselves. Um, yeah, that looks good. Just like that. Boom. Okay. So we got two full slurry tanks there. Plus we still got that tank. that's like, whew, Bursting at the gills. Okay, let's get this truck back over here. I feel like when I get in this thing, it's all over the road. Because look, look how sharp it turns. It just says, Shoo! Okay, so what I want to do is I would like to burn the, the canola out. I'd like to see what we can get for some canola to get a little bit of extra cash. And we're going to hook this bad boy up. Okay, so let's take this over here to the house. And then, then we'll get the, the tractor going. And then we will we'll get this combine cooking on this field right here. Because I want to see how much we can actually get for canola. I think canola is one of the more... Um, more high value crops that we can get. It doesn't work like this where we're going to make silage and we're going to make crops out of it. So we're not going to have that luxury, but I think, I think that the canola we get more money for, I think if memory serves me right. I think it's in, uh, let's look here real quick. Canola. Yeah. You get 1244 a ton versus our barley that we're getting 468 a ton. So, and it all goes to the diner. Okay. Piece of cake. So we're going to get this guy here going on this field. And we'll start making some money off of this field. <clears throat> and then what we should probably do is think about purchasing another field and then setting it up. Since, uh, since we're at that point where we've got like a little bit of cash, it would almost be nice to buy like a pretty good sized field. And then, um, let's go like this. Uh, and then we can actually harvest just canola on it. I think canola would be a, a great plan here. And then let's go like this. Let's, oh, let's unfold that. There we go. Okay, let's get this bad boy, this bad boy here working. The car's coming. This is one. All right, so we're gonna swoop around, get him started on this here field. This here, we're gonna get it going. We're gonna make some canola. Let's go here and hire a worker. Okay, he should start doing his thing. We got the truck over here. Perfect. Now see, we don't have all the cleanup that we have to do. So it'll be nice just to be able to just break this field up, 
and then prep it and then replant it and we'll be in good shape. So what I'm going to do in that case is I'm going to grab a couple of these tractors and we're going to get them headed over here. Man, we're, we're all congested over here, boy. I just like stacked everything in here like I knew what I was doing. Okay, let's get this guy over there so the field will be ready to be prepped. See, and this is the good thing that we don't have to deal with uh, with grabbing the crone and then picking up all the excess and then making the silage out of it and whatnot. We can just go over here, prep this field, replant it. So it makes it pretty quick. You can see canola is going to be a lot faster of a harvest, um, which is fine because we can like start this guy going before that field even gets finished. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to pull this guy up here so he's ready to go. Jump in that other tractor. Uh, where was he? Let's grab this guy. Um, yeah. And we'll grab one of those up here. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Thread the needle. Thread it. Thread it. There we go. Way to go, my friend. Okay, let's go in here. Let's grab this. Whoa, oh, 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 I got all sorts of problems. Got problems. Back up. Get it together. Line it up. There we go. Okay, let's go in canola. Let's, how are we doing over there? I didn't look. I didn't see anything. Okay, so let's go and take this over there so it'll be ready to go too as well. Then we'll be in good shape here. We'll be ready to rock and roll this bad boy. I do have, like I said, I still have the attachments to be able to do all of a cornfield, so we can probably still do a cornfield as well. Um, let's look at our map here real quick. Uh, what field could we buy? Ten wouldn't be a bad purchase. Whoop, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Hold that back up. Uh, 10 wouldn't be a bad purchase, would it? Let's see. How's this guy doing? Oh, he's only 24%. Perfect. Um, what's 10? Let's go see what this field over here is. We might just purchase this field. This might be a good little field here for some canola. Actually, this would be a great field for canola. Okay, let's see. What's this field? Uh, 117. How much do we got? Mm, let's do it. That, that still leaves us 86,000, which is more than enough. So what we can do is we can plant this field here with some canola. Spray it down, and then we will be in good shape. I like that plan. This is a plan that I can get behind. All right. Because I'll tell you, I'm tired of doing silage. we got to start stepping up this game a little bit more. Um, no, this is the tractor I wanted. We're going to plant this with canola over here. And then that way we can just harvest some canola. And then we'll be in good shape. So we'll plant this and then we'll have to come back and fertilize this as well. Let's get this laid out here like a this. And we'll slide this up a hill like uh, this. And bam, bitch. There we go. We got this. Okay, so we're planting this. We're in good shape. Okay, so back to here. Um, that guy's doing his thing. Let's go ahead and get this guy in position and ready to roll. Come on, traffic. Beep, beep. Okay, let's get this laid out here. I see him flashing there, so he's almost ready to roll. 
So we're going to park this guy here. Let's grab the truck. Where is the truck? The truck is here. All right, perfect. I thought this guy was flashing. Was he not? Oh, he's not even close to flashing. All right, well, that's fine. We'll just park him over here and he'll be ready to roll. Oh yeah, he's only half filled up. Okay, perfect. All right, so that's that's pretty good for that field there. Okay, that'll work. So yeah, so we'll get that going. I'll go get the tractor. We're going to need that for next episode because we're going to have to go over and sprinkle that other field once it gets planted, um, which is fine. I think what I'll do is I'll wait. I'll start that tractor up there uh, plowing this field and getting it prepped. And hopefully by then, that field over there should almost be planted. And then we should be able to bring the planter over here, grab the fertilizer, go back, do that field. And then by then, this field should be ready to go for seeding and for the fertilizer. So it should be good. Um, if we had another tractor, we could actually use it for the other fertilizer. But um, I don't really want to spend the money on another one of those tractors just yet. I mean, they're like 200 and some odd thousand, aren't they? Let's see. No, 312. So, yeah. So, it's kind of out of our budget right now since we bought the other thing. So, but <clears throat> with that being said, guys, I got to end this episode. We, we're, we're well on our way. We, we got a few things done. We got our second windmill going. So, we're earning 4,000 hours so we can make $100,000 a day, which is good. Uh, we got uh, the, the canola being harvested right now. We bought a second field or another field for canola. We're getting it planted right now. So we're going to have that going as an extra little bit of income. Um, we'll continue with our silage on all the rest of the fields, that field down there and the other three fields. We got ourselves some cows. We're making some manure. We're making some slurry. We bought ourselves a new trailer. Like, woo! We got so much done this episode. I'm so excited. So with that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow us on Twitter. That way you know when we're posting to YouTube content and we're live streaming. And if you haven't checked us out on Twitch or YouTube gaming, come hang out, be part of the audience. And until next time, guys, we'll see all your faces later. Thanks so much, guys, for checking out my video. If you enjoyed that video, hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for future videos.